Hello, hello. Let me see here. What if I went? Um, hello, 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 hello. How are you? I miss you. Yes, I do. Hello, how are you? What what tune was that? <gasps> Jingle bells, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so yesterday we read. What did we read yesterday? Oh, yeah. If you give a pig a pancake. Today we're going to read if you give a moose a muffin. Look at that moose. Mmm. Would you rather have a pancake or a muffin? Golly, that's a hard decision. I heard some of you say pancake and some of you said muffins. Let's see, or what about chocolate chip pancakes? Or chocolate chip muffins? I don't know which I would pick. Golly, maybe I could take half of each. Oh, that'd be perfect. All right, if you give a moose a muffin. Hey, I have a fun game to teach you when we're done with the book. All right, you ready? If you give a moose a muffin, what's he gonna want to go with it? What could you want for a muffin? Oh yeah, I heard butter. Oh, I heard someone say jelly. I heard someone say syrup. Who puts syrup on a muffin? I have never tried it, maybe I will. Well, if you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. Yeah. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another. And another. And another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make some more. I mean, look how big he is. Of course he wants more than one. He's a hungry guy. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. You guys, look how tall he is. Like, he is very tall. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice some of the buttons is loose. So if you have loose buttons, what you gotta do? You gotta sew them back on. What do you need to sew? Oh, you're right. He'll need a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. What do you think that means? What? What do you think he's going to do next? I think he might want to make some puppets. <laughs> Let's see. So who asked for some old socks? Why would he want old socks? He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. Oh, yeah. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them. Look at that. Look at the backdrop, the scenery. It's kind of good. They did good. So we could say that is the setting of their puppet show. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. 
and you'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much he'll knock over the paints. Uh. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. And then what's that gonna remind him of? He'll probably ask you for some and chances are, if you give him the jam, what's he gonna want to go with it? He'll want a muffin to go with it. And so then they're gonna have to start back over again. So let me see here, I have, what did he make with the socks? Do you remember? Sock puppet! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do you see my sock puppet? Yes, yeah, she's out of a sock. Hello? All right, well, I told you that was not what I was going to show you, but you could make a sock puppet if you have an old sock. Super easy. Um, just glue on stuff, or you don't even have to glue on stuff. You just put them. Put the sock on and make him talk. All right, but I wanna show you this game I made. So I went out to the garage and I found an old uh, sand pail bucket thing. And I thought, okay, I wanna learn from my game, but I wanna have fun. You know, we like to have fun and learn. So then I found some balls, just some, I got some ping pong balls, and then I found in Mr. Don't Tell. I found this in Mr. Ben and David's in their golf bags. They're like practice golf balls. I, I asked, and I got a couple. So, what you need, so you take all these balls, and you put them by where you're gonna stand, you could play this outside in the grass or inside, maybe in your living room if you have enough room. And so I have my balls in one pile and I would put my, my pail further away. But look, on each ball, I wrote a sight word. I put an addition problem and a subtraction problem. You could put letters on there. You could put numbers on there. You know, we always need work with our teen numbers because those things are tricky, I tell you. So I could, I could write, I just used a Sharpie. I could put my teen number on there. Um, I could put a letter. Let me see here. I'm going to put it there. We go. So I just write it on there. Your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or your brother or your sister could help you write it. Because it's kind of, it's tricky. I'll tell you, it's tricky writing on a ball. So what you do is, like your mom might yell, she's cooking dinner, say, Okay, practice your sight words. Well, you get a ball and you find the sight word. Here's this sight word, G-O-O-D, good, good. And if you read it correctly, then you have to toss it and try to make it. You guys, I missed. I'm sitting right here and I missed. Okay, I'm gonna try again. It rolled right back to me, luckily. There's my sight word, good. I read it correctly. Oh, thank goodness, I made it. So then you get the next one. On these balls, these are super tricky. Let's see, we're doing sight words. Oh, there's the sight word, D-I-D. -D. What was it? 
D-I-D, D, ID. Oh my goodness, I heard you did. All right, I'm gonna try to make it again. Ha! See, if this was further away, it'd be tons more fun. And these, like this is old ping pong balls. So these are pretty safe to throw inside or outside. And if you use a Sharpie when you write them, um, they don't rub off. So if you're outside, they won't rub off. Um, so maybe tomorrow you get it out and your mom's trying to cook dinner. Maybe dad's cooking dinner. Mr. Ben cooks dinner here a lot. She says, or he says, work on addition. So then you get your balls, you put them in a pile and you find your addition. Five plus zero. Five, five, and I don't add any more. I still have five. Oh, look at that. I'm getting good now. All right. So if you don't have a tub like this, you could use a box. And if you don't have balls, you could take, remember the song, snowball fight, snowball fight, throw that ball with all your might. Ugh, you get some paper and tear the paper up into pieces. Does not have to be neat. And then you're gonna write on those pieces. The same things, you can put a sight word an addition problem. Oh, that one's kind of hard. I put a subtraction problem. I'll put a teen number and I'll put a letter. So our song, snowball fight, snowball fight, throw that snow with all your might. You just made a snowball. Yeah, it has some writing, but that's okay. So what you do is you open it up and if grandma says, okay, honey, you practice your subtraction. There's the subtraction problem. Four minus two equals, four minus two equals two. Ball it up and in it goes. I made it. Sorry about that. Did you hear my phone singing? But anyways, remember, snowball fight or balls. Super fun and lots of ways to practice. Letters, numbers, addition, subtraction, sight words. You could put CVC words on here. Lots of ways to practice and super fun. You guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.